Oh no. S sorry about that. L let's keep going. Okay. Wait. I mean, um, I, I was just going to to um say goodbye and I can't take this anymore. I, I lied to you. A human soul isn't strong enough to cross the barrier alone. It takes at least a human soul and a monster soul. What? If you want to go home, you have to take his soul. You have to kill Asgore. I'm sorry. Where the freak you going? Come back here, boy. My bitch old booty. You liar. I'm gonna get you. That doctor person literally is just so gone, huh? Well, I'm not going after him. Frick that, bro. I changed my mind. The person just, he ran away really fast. I, can, I didn't get to kill them. The elevator is in use. The elevator is, isn't working. Which is it? This place looks pretty wild. It's pretty wild still. Anything in the bushes? Ah, another save point. I love saving. This reminds me of Toriel's place, I think. No, it's literally Toriel's place. It's a golden flower. Can I take it? A present. There's a heart-shaped lock inside the box. Will you take it? Yes. What about this? There's a worn dagger. Of course I take it. Room under renovation. Just like... Oh no, what is... A long time ago, a human fell into the ruins. Injured by its fall, the human called out for help. What? You took the key and put it in your phone's keychain. Oh, nice. Oh, is that me in the mirror? <laughs> Ooh. Now the key... What is the frick? Azriel, the king's son, heard the human's call. He brought the human back to the castle. And killed them, probably. Oh my gosh. Over time, Azriel and the human became like siblings. The king and queen treated the human child as their own. The other guy was full of hope. The fridge is full of unopened containers of snails. Can I take it? No. Okay. Well, that's lame. Huh? Well, let's unlock this door. Or oh, chain. I feel like I could have gotten underneath a chain easily, but uh, who cares? Oh, then one day, the human became very ill. Well, I mean, human beings have to do that. Oh, good. Oh. The sick human had only one request to see the flowers from the village, but there was nothing we could do. Oh, that is so sad. No flowers for them. They just need to see flowers. The next day, it's Mike Wazowski. The next day. The human died. Ezreal, racked with grief, absorbed the human soul. He transformed into a being with incredible power. With the human soul, Ezreal crossed through the barrier. Oh! He carried the human's body into the sunset. Back to the village of the humans. Ezreal reached the center of the village. There, he found a bed of golden flowers. He carried the human into it, onto it. Suddenly, screams rang out. The villagers saw Ezreal holding the human's body. They thought that he had killed the child. Dummies? The humans attacked him with everything they had. He was struck with uh, blow after blow. Ezreal had the power to destroy them all. Really? With one soul, bro? What? Ezreal did not fight back. Creeping me the frick out. What's this way? Oh, hi, Sans. It's uh, it's kind of funny seeing you here. So you finally made it. Oh wait, hold on. What voice I do? So you finally made it. The end of your journey is at hand. In a few, in a few months. What the frick did I do? In a few moments, you will meet the king. Together, you will de determine the future of this world. That's then. Now. You will be judged. You will be judged for your every action. You will be judged for every XP you've earned. What's XP? It's an acronym. It stands for execution points. Oh, doesn't. <laughs> A way of quantifying the pain you have inflicted on others. When you kill someone, your XP increases. When you have enough XP, your love increases. Love, too, is an acronym. It stands for level of violence. What's the E stand for? A way of measuring someone's capacity to hurt. The more you kill, the easier it becomes to, dis to distance yourself. The more you distance yourself, the less you will hurt. The more easily you can bring yourself to hurt others. Now you understand. It's time to begin your judgment. Look inside yourself. Have you really done the right thing? And considering what you've done, what, you, what will you do now? Take a moment to think about this. 
Uh, almost over. I did insult the fence. Can I move now? Thought, thought, thought. Truthfully, it doesn't really matter what you said. All that's important is that you were honest with yourself. What happens now? Will you leave it up to you? Though, one thing about you always struck me as kind of odd. Now I understand acting in self-defense. You were thrown into those situations against your will. But sometimes you act like you know what's going to happen. Like you've already experienced it all before. This is an odd thing to say, but if you have some sort of special power, isn't it your responsibility to do the right thing? Um, <laughs> no? Huh? Well, that's your viewpoint. I won't judge you for it. You dirty brother killer. Oh, that. Oh, well, he's gone now. Oh, frick, I'm forced to move slowly. Hello? Oh, is someone there? It's just a moment. I have almost finished watering these flowers. Here we are. Howdy, how can I? <laughs> Seems scared. It's a maverick boy. Oh, I so badly want to say, would you like a cup of tea? But you know how it is. Yeah, yeah, you kind of want me dead, psychopath. Nice day today, huh? Birds are singing, flowers are blooming. Perfect weather for a game of catch. Shut the frig up. You know what we must do? When you're ready, come into the next room. How tense. Just think of it like a visit to the dentist. Are you ready? If you are not, I understand. I am not ready to, I'm not ready either. Oh, what the frick? This is the barrier. This is what keeps us all trapped in the ground. If by chance you have any unfinished business, please do what you must. Continue. Go back. What would I go back to? Uh, I could kill Alfie's. I guess I could kill Sans. What would I go back to do? I don't know. I'm going to continue. I see. This is it then. A strange light fills the room. It seems your journey is finally over. You're filled with determination, human. It was nice to meet you. Goodbye. Oh, dang. He's a menace, I guess. Asgore attacks. Bam. Okay, I'm going to have to learn this. This is probably where I'm going to actually die first. Too much stuff to look at. What are you doing? What are you doing? Ice twinkling. Did I just luckily dodge that? That's actually crazy looking, bro. Really? No more food? Oh, man. I guess I should have got food before I fought him. I was not prepared for this fight at all. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my first death ever, bro. Dang it, man. I'm coming out, bro. Society, no mercy. Good thing I never needed that button. Come at me, bro. Oh, 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 can't touch this. Okay, maybe a little bit. You can touch a little bit of this. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh, I almost did so good. Oh, I did so much damage. Wait, he's. Oh, that's stupid. It was made to do that. Oh, so that is how it is. I remember the day after my son died. The entire underground was devoid of hope. The future had once again been taken from us by the humans. In a fit of anger, I declared war. I said that I would destroy any human that came here. I would use their souls to become godlike and free us from this terrible prison. Then I would destroy humanity and let monsters rule the surface in peace. Soon the people's hopes returned. My wife, however, became disgusted with my actions. She left this place never to be seen again. Truthfully, I do not want power. I do not want to hurt anyone. I just want everyone to have hope. But I cannot take this any longer. I just want to see my wife. I just want to see my child. Please, young one, this war has gone on long enough. You have the power. Take my soul and leave this cursed place. Okay. Slice! Oh yeah!
Adios. Give it to me. Give it. Give it. Give it. Give it. Give it. Give it. Can I have it? 